Hello and welcome to Excel Wednesday. Today we will walk through five demos of Excel Array Formula. In the last tutorial, we have covered the building blocks of Excel Array Formula. If you miss it, click the i button at the top right corner or video link in the description. If you are visiting this channel for the first time, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get new videos notification. Let's start the video. Just a quick recap of Excel Array Formula building blocks. Selection of range is compulsory to apply the array formula. Control, Shift, Enter is the shortcut to convert a formula into Excel Array Formula. For vertical constant, we use semicolon as delimiter and for horizontal constant, we use comma as delimiter. So our first demo is related to transpose function. Transpose function allow you to change the orientation of a given data array. For instance, in our example, we have 8 rows and 6 columns. By transposing, we change it into an array of 6 row and 8 columns. To transpose this data, first we select the array dimension. Starting from H1, I have selected 6 rows, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 8 columns. Now from the formula bar, I will write the transpose function. For that, equals to transpose. The array starts from A1 and end on F8. Parenthesis close. And to convert this formula into Excel array formula, I will press Ctrl Shift Enter. And the data is transposed within a second. One thing to note is we have 48 cells and each of these cells has same transpose function. In the second tutorial, we will link data between sheets using array and non-array technique. We want to copy this data on sheet 2. For that, let's insert a new sheet. And to copy this data, we have two approaches, array approach and non-array approach. First, we are going to use the non-array approach. For that, Go to formula bar, equals to and select A1 from your sales data sheet. Since we have used the relative reference, so we can just drag it to F and down to row 8 and it will duplicate. Let's do it. Dragging and now dragging down. So we have the data with us, but we have used 48 different formulas. Like you can see on A1, we have referred A1. On B3, we have referred B3 and so on and so forth. Now let's use the array formula approach. But remember, first you need to select the array dimension. So our dimension has 8 rows and 6 columns. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now go to formula bar equals to select the sales data array from A1 to F8. Control Shift Enter and we have got all the data with us by just one formula in this 48 cells. The third demo is related to counting characters across range of cells. We will count the number of characters from our components. We will use the length function. We are going to perform this demo with non-array technique and array technique. In the first instance, we are going to use the non-array technique. So for non-array equals to len and we will select the component cell. Parenthesis close, enter. So in security and governance we have 23 characters. Just drag this formula down and now to sum up all these numbers I am using a shortcut alter equals to. To sum up these numbers and we got 61 as the total characters from all the components. Now we will use array technique. So for array, I am using the len function. For text, I will select C12 to C16, parenthesis close. And to convert this formula into Excel array formula, I will use Ctrl Shift Enter. But I received the wrong answer. Instead of 61, I just received 23. To sum up the character count of all component, we need to add sum in the formula. For that, Enter in the formula bar and before len I am adding some function. Control Shift 
enter and here we got the same result 61. In our fourth demo, we want to get the top 3 sales value of networking component. Again, we are going to perform this demo with the non-array approach and the array approach. So first we are going to use the non-array. To get the top 3 sales value of networking component, I am going to use the large function equals to large. The array is networking sales numbers starting from D2 till D8, comma, position that I would like to see is the first position. So I am writing 1. I will freeze this range by pressing F4. Parenthesis close. Enter. Now for second and third position, I will copy this formula and paste. Paste again. And just update the formula. So 1 to 2 and again 1 to 3. So by this approach, I get the top 3 values of my networking sales. Now let's use the array approach. So first thing is to select your range. Now in the formula bar, equals to large, select the networking sales from D2 till D8, freeze, comma. For k value, we will use the vertical constant. For that, insert curly bracket. The first value is 1 and since we have used the vertical constant, we will use semicolon as the delimiter to semicolon 3. Close curly bracket, close parenthesis. And to convert this formula into array formula, we will press Ctrl Shift Enter. And we got the same result by using just one formula in array and using three formula in non-array approach. So in the last and the final demo of this tutorial, I will show you how to use array formula with index and match. So we have been provided with this drop down list having the years and based on the selection of values from this drop down list, this raw number update. Our job is to call sales from this data array and for that I will use index function. But remember the rule of array formulas, first select the range, selecting the range with the formula bar equals to index, I am using this array, freeze, comma, my raw number is available here and I am not defining any column number, just writing comma and space, parenthesis close, control shift enter and we got the result with us. No dragging of formula, only one formula used in each of these cells. If you find this tutorial helpful, make sure you let me know by leaving a comment and a thumbs up below. You can also give your suggestion for future videos in comments. See you in next tutorial.